The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and today I'm on the 275 Venezia by Doral. Known for European styling and functional design, let's get her underway and see how she handles. The Doral Venezia had a length overall of 29 feet, a beam of 9 feet 4 inches. With 20 gallons of fuel on board and two people, our test weight turned in at 8,495 pounds. We found her to have a top speed of 48.7 miles an hour while burning 26.3 gallons per hour. Dialed back to a more economical cruise, we were running at 29.5 miles an hour while burning 11.4 gallons per hour. This translates into 2.6 miles per gallon in a range of 175 miles. Let's talk about trimming the 275 in easier. It doesn't take much to find that sweet spot where you want to be. Once you get up on plane, giving it a couple of shots of up trim will give you a little boost in speed. That's where you want to stop. You'll also notice the engines will go a little bit quieter. If you go a little bit further beyond where you want to be, the bow will start oscillating a little bit and then you just back off on the trim and you're right back where you want to be. Your turns on the 275, very gentle and graceful. It curves right into the turn. Nice, easy bank. It's very comfortable. If you go to put it into a harder turn, it digs in a little bit, but it still does not get to the point where it's uncomfortable. Fingertip control all through the steering. And here's what I really like is, while you're running, you've got great sight lines when you're sitting up against the flipped up bolster and your feet are on the footrest. Even better, when you're standing up. It's a little bit of a breeze, but great sight lines in either condition. Doral's are known for being a bit heavier than other boats in this size and class, and this one is no exception. That has a lot to do with the construction where Doral has significantly thick hulls. That increased weight also explains the more solid feeling ride that we found in our tests and that both you and your guests will come to appreciate. The Venezia hull has dual lifting strakes to either side that help her achieve her nice speeds, even with a single engine application, as well as grab water in the turns. Reverse chines seem to give her a good stable ride. When you pull the power off on the 275, it coasts ahead for a little bit, then it settles in. So it's not going to be a very quick stop, nor do you want it to be. Now here you can see as we're making our turn, the pivot point is just ahead of the helm. Looks like about at the base of the windshield. And we're turning in about the length of the boat. One good measure of the performance of a boat is turn the wheel hard over and firewall the throttle and see how she takes it. That power turn is very telling for a number of reasons. First of all, I expected a lot of ventilation out of the propeller. I got none of that. It dug in and cranked us around through the whole turn. We were turning in less than a boat length, and the engine got to about 3,500 max RPMs before it loaded up. But it proves that the boat is a very good responsive handling boat. That's our look at the performance and handling of the 275 Venezia by Doral. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.